guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's a very strange, uncertain time. So I thought that I would make a YouTube video, I put some nice clothes on, done my makeup, put my ears on, and I just thought, balls to it, let's just make a video. If you click this video, it's because you wanna know what's in my Disneyland Paris backpack. So I'm gonna take you through my park bag. I just thought it might be a good idea for when the parks are back open, some things that might be in my bag, you might think that's a good idea to put in yours. Um, so yeah, why not, let's just share, share some stuff. This is my bag. <laughs> it's the same big pack backpack that we normally take. Um, normally Nathan's wearing it because it can get heavy, but this size is perfect. This is from the Van Dex Disney collection, but this is the one we use, so. I think it goes without saying that some things are going to be in the bag and I'm just going to briefly mention them now. So, goes without saying section. So that could be your magic pass, so your park tickets, um, your euros, hand sanitizer, bank cards, mobile phone. Like, I'm, I'm not going to, they should be in your bag anyway. If you haven't got your euros then, why are you buying nothing? One of the big things that we take into the park um, every time, and uh, whether that's been we fly and go to the supermarket while we're out there or whether we're driving and we pack the car full of stuff to take with us. But we always, always, always take snacks into the park. Just because Disney, as much as the snacks are cute and nice and whatever, they can be really expensive and food can be really expensive. So, you know, a pan chocolate and a bottle of lemonade, you're allowed to take them in the park, that's fine. I suggest you do it because it, it is going to save you a lot of money in the long run and it just keeps you going even if it's just some breakfast bars. So we always take tip Ziploc bags, super handy. So we take a Ziploc bag full of, so there's a Belvita breakfast bar, there's a pan chocolate, but normally just stuff this full of like little breakfast bar-y bits and keep those in the bag. Bottles pop, you are allowed to take pop into the park. So um, yeah, that's what we do. We normally take um, here bottles pop and then take like one of those little like concentrated squashy things. Take one of those because there's water fountains through the park. So just fill those up and a squashy thing. I don't have one in my bag at the moment because the last time we were in the park, if you've seen the vlogs, um, the coronavirus was going around and we just didn't think it was a good idea to be filling up at water stations if people have had their mouth on them so we just took loads and loads of bottles in our bags and we also kept some in the car so we went and done a refill actually i have got a little squashy thing i think this one's from the type market in france ocean ocean but yeah that's one from from there anyway but yeah a couple of squirts there bottle of water you're good to go so i do always keep um a bag of wires so whether that's ugh, um, charging wires and USB stuff. I think there's a microphone for my phone to for vlogging and things. So I normally keep bits like that in here. Just save them, like wander around the bag and just put them into like a little little makeup thing. It says animals make the best psychic, and I've got a hair clip because you never know when you need one of those. Staying on the same theme as um, charging wires. I always take a battery pack with, with me. So this is a um, really old Easy Ace battery pack. I bought it from Amazon and I think it was about 15 quid. And I think it was about five years ago. And it's amazing, it's got five little bars on it, or four little bars with a load of outlets. I find I can charge my iPhone on this multiple times a day without it dropping, you know, only losing one bar of charge. It's one I've bought one for Nathan as well. We've been using them for years. I will try and find a link to these because these are brilliant. They are a bit weighty, but they're the best ones you'll buy. I promise. If I keep moving, it's because I'm going down to the bag. And if I keep looking here, it's to check that I'm in the right place. And if I'm looking down here, it's because I've got lots. Obviously, everywhere is trying to cut down on single-use plastics, which is just brilliant. Um, so Disney and Paris are doing the same thing with their bags. So I normally keep a little reusable bag just in case just in case um we buy anything like years and I don't want them to get squashed or you know pins floating around the bag um so yeah I normally keep that inside the backpack as well 
<laughs> this is a weird one because it's um like I'm a freezer so I always keep like little hand warmers I think these are from a pound shop I don't know they if my hands get really cold I just stick them in my gloves so you know I normally keep those or I put them in my back pocket because I get a cold bum but it's handy you're sitting on the floor watching illuminations one of them in your back pocket so yeah hand warmers are a must this is just so far the big part of my bag. One of the things you can get in the park, but they, I just find them really, really expensive. And yeah, you can buy them in pound shops or if you want to buy them in the park and reuse them, I think that's a brilliant idea. But these are all wrapped up in a, in a band. But these are the Rain Max or like the Disney poncho-y crappy ones. But we keep them, we reuse them and stick them at the bottom of the bag. You don't know when things are going to go a wall in France, <laughs> like you, you just don't know. So same as the weather in the UK really. So we keep these right at the bottom, at like literally the very bottom of the bag as a backup. And then I know these kind of go without saying, but I'm just gonna think. We've got our annual passes, this is Nathan's lanyard. Um, on a lanyard, annual pass, we also have our photo pass on there, along with some pins. Oh, some pins. Um, the pins that we would normally wear on these ones are not the pins that we would trade. These are kind of our uh, keeping for ourselves pins. But so I've got mine, got Nathan's. I also like to keep a lanyard because where Nathan's got the photo pass, I like to put our fast passes in the other side. So they kind of just double up as where you can keep your fast passes. Something I'm going to add because it's not necessarily in my backpack, but it's on my backpack is my year holder so it's this bring it forward so it is this from the lovely cheeky bean um these are a year holder so when these come off they kind of like hold in the middle through here and they stay safe when you're on rides and just generally walking in the park if you your hood up i think i bought this for like our first trip for, yeah our first trip last year and probably one of the best Disney park items that I own or you know non-official Disney park items so moving on to a little bit of my bag so this bit so in here I think again the goals that I'm saying we keep plasters painkillers sanitary products you know because you need that there's none in France I don't know why there's no sanitary products or like vending machine things for like sanitary products so you know pads tampons wipes type stuff go in there along with ibuprofen um paracetamol i get acid reflux so i normally keep like some sort of gavascon in there nothing major just a couple of things just get you through the day just like a strip of each um alongside these bad boys blister plasters um no yeah that's what they're for they're for blisters if your feet rub hey brush because I get Space Mountain here quite often and you know Big Thunder, Space Mountain, anything like that I come out looking wild. So autograph and pen, granted I know not everyone will want an autograph but I like an autograph so I've got my book and my pen just ready just in the little bit so I know I can get it ready for, for meet and greets. Oh something else I do actually keep in my bag and this is going to sound super vain but a compact mirror just because when I'm brushing my hair, I can just make sure that I look okay. <laughs> if you are a Disney pin collector, you do probably know that some of your pins can accidentally fall off your lot in the yard or you lose a back. I normally just keep, this is a really beat up pack now, but I normally keep these in, in the front of the bag just in case any pins drop off because it's not to happen. They were three euro for a stash of them. They're always handy. There is one other thing that we keep in the bag. I'll be right back definitely definitely recommend if you are going i don't know spring summer or when there's nicer weather during the day but it does get chilly in the night i would recommend one of these no it's not a sleeping bag it is an ugly coat and i will say i think they're ugly in fact i think nathan's is nicer than the mine this one's mine it was from premark i think they between 12 no 10 and 13 pounds and basically, if you're not going to wear a coat during the day, because it's nice, it does get chilly. It's just a little coat that, like, unzips. 
I am wearing in some of the Disneyland Paris vlogs, um, just because they got chilly. But yeah, they roll up nice and small and they fit down the bottom of the bag. They are ideal for, like I said, summer months. If you're, all, if you're going in in December, your stuff's going to be, you're probably going to already be wearing a parka coat and your scarf and your gloves and all that. But if like, I think we went in like April or May time and it was it was lovely during the day but the evening it got really cold so this was an ideal we normally keep one for me one for nathan um again these are just cheapy ones you'd have to get get them from pre-marks so if you can get nicer ones do it but these are were just in pre-mark at the time it basically runs up what's in my disney park bag i really hope it helps um if there's anything that's not in my bag that you think should be for next time um write in the comments if there's anything that you were going to add into your bag let me know because that would be awesome thank you for watching and um, check me out on instagram and hopefully i'll be trying to get more and more stuff on youtube